Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can enable your different menu items that are present over here and the settings that you need to do to, to basically enable all of these menu items so that they are showing their respective pages. So if I run the application now which we previously created you will see we have dashboard but once we click on dashboard finance sales detailed analysis or raw data it will not show you anything well uh, this is mainly because we have not done the setting as i said and the starting so let's stop this minimize it and start doing some of the settings so the first setting is about adding the uh, tab items so for that tab items so it's basically called tab items over here we want to create a different tabs and within those tabs uh, we want to create a tab item for each of the page all right let's give it a name tab name tab name is uh, the name we want to give it to each of the menu so here in this case let's say for menu we want to uh, give a name dash code now the same name you need to give over here, here in the menu item. So here also you have the property which is tab name and you will say dashboard. All right, once you have the dashboard, you will need to take all of this information, the fluid row related to the page within that tab item. So you will put a comma, hit enter and paste the entire information over here. So once you hit save, all of this uh, should work fine, right? And if I go into the run app option and here, if I click on the dashboard, now you are seeing the dashboard page uh, is enabled once I am clicking on it. Earlier, you were getting dashboard by directly going whenever the application was opening. But this time when application opened, you saw the blank page. And when I click on the dashboard, then only you were able to see. If I click on any of the other page, it will not enable. So let's enable dashboard finance here in this case. All right, so let's stop this, minimize this. So first we created first tab item. Let's create another tab item, which is tab item. And let's give a tab name. And um, second one is the finance. So let's give it a finance and after the comma, let's add something, some text over here, which is H1 and saying finance dashboard. So H1 is nothing but your HTML tag for making a heading, heading one, heading two, H2, H3, H4. So heading one is the biggest one. Um, after that, within the dashboard finance, what you need to do is simple, go ahead and add a tab name, which is nothing but this tab name. Finance, F I N A N C finance. All right. So for third one, let's say menu sales. We we'll let add a tab name. See, it's to sales. So once we are here, let's create another tab item for sales. Uh, let's give it a name as tab name is sales, and let's create an H two and saying sales dashboard. All right. So far, so good we have created and enabled the three tabs but let's see it in action how they are performing and there is a problem so let's see that what what problem it is run app all right so we are here it is saying some error maybe some uh, so this is not the error i was talking about but some other error related to uh, so h2 it is saying the problematic maybe we forgot to put a comma yeah that's what it is all right save it stop it and run app all right so here we have first of all the blank page nothing is shown but once i click on dashboard i get my uh, dashboard when i click on finance so as you can see this finance dashboard and sales dashboard are coming in not in these tabs uh, dashboard finance and dashboard sales but in the main tab itself well this generally happens because we have not specified a proper menu uh, here or the menu items uh, in the declaration. So what I meant by that is, let's stop it over here. 
go here so as you can see uh, within the tab name we have given the different tab names and all which is uh, finance or sales but they are all appearing within the main uh, menu item and that's mainly because uh, it's if I see it this tab item is not basically captured or closed correctly so if I close it over here this tab item the dashboard is closed and then uh, we'll hit save and see the other two uh, finance dashboard and sales dashboard now should re reflect in their respective uh, section of dashboard finance and dashboard sales of menu sub item all right so if i go down i see uh, expected issue of one more bracket as i added extra bracket over here for tab item which needs to be closed so if i just hit save and click the run app and now see the dashboard sales the dashboard is coming properly now you are seeing those two finance dashboard and sales dashboards are not coming but they will come over here in this section finance dashboard sales dashboard so parenthesis is something uh, you may run into issue like i just ran in because i was just copying and pasting code here and there so if it is giving a similar kind of issues where you are uh, not expecting some information just look at this code structure and you will be able to resolve it so next uh, problem that uh, is if i look at detailed analysis dashboard finance you know i'm not able to go back to my respective links and that's the problem i encountered when i was first developing one of the application and uh, i was i actually ran into almost uh, 30 minutes or one hour to figure it out what's actually happening and that is basically related to the issue of not specifying the menu items correctly so what i meant by that is if i go back stop this minimize this here in the dashboard sidebar what i need to do is i need to specify for these menu item the another uh, upper function which is side uh, sidebar menu sidebar menu so once I specify the site bar menu here in this case, close this. All right. So I have site bar menu. I have dashboard sidebar, and now the dashboard boy. So all of this information is perfectly fine. I hit save, and yeah, I am not finding any error. So the main thing I wanted to show you is the site bar menu, and look at the placement. It is placed after the slider input or any other input that we are giving and whatever we want within the sidebar menu is displayed within this section so after adding this sidebar menu it will resolve our problem where we were not able to go back and forth into the different links so if i run the application again you will be able to see so the first thing is dashboard that's the enabled for you as you can see maybe in video it is not clear but i am able to see that dashboard is highlighted whereas dashboard finance and others are not properly highlighted so if i click on dashboard finance now the dashboard finance is displayed if i click on dashboard sales it is displayed now if i want to go back on the dashboard here in this case i can go back and it is now showing me all of that information wherever i want to go i am able to go but earlier as you could see i was not able to move in back and forth in this direction all right so that's that's one thing about it and the next thing maybe what you can do is uh, to make it a little bit more interactive is adding the icons so icons are something very special as you know uh, if if you look at any of the applications standard applications they have a lot of lot of icons so that it is intuitive to the user and you can add the icons within the menu item and by specifying icon is equals to icon and within that function what we can give is dashboard i think that's the right one if i'm correct if i save it so here it for dashboard i have specified the dashboard i'm clicking the run app and here i have the dashboard kind of an icon well from where you can go to get more information about icon the first thing is obviously the r so if i close this and put a question mark over here and say icon 
so here is your icon information well there is one icon which is calendar uh, there are libraries like uh, glyph icon and uh, font awesome all of that and there are different other types of icon like bar chart list alt table well if you want to know a more good feel about it then what you can do is i have just opened the font awesome icons so these are the name address book address book o e e r cast all of those different kinds of you will get a lot of options here i mean i think pretty much whatever you can think is present here and uh, the only thing is uh, uh, that you need to just get the library which is like font or some or glyph icon libraries fa dash and glyph icon which it is said if it is not installed then install it and all the icon you will be able to use almost every icon which is uh, present over there so that's how you can add the icon maybe some finance related icon you can add it sales related icon you can add it detailed analysis icon so font awesome is here uh, glyph icons which are again very very uh, matured i would say or very you uh, you know user friendly here are the different icons that you can get so that's that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about the the enabling your different sections related to the menu items adding the sidebar menu and adding different tab items to really uh, look you know enhance the look and feel of your entire dashboard and make the different menu sections enabled with the help of the tab items